Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, we are about three miles into a 16 mile training run today. I don't know if uh, personally I'm gonna finish that 16 miles, but I hope. Uh, what do you think, Kristen? We're definitely gonna finish. <laughs> Uh, and I'm just gonna complain a little bit, and the dog is complaining too. So the reason that uh, we're making this post uh, is because we were just recently at the outlet malls uh, in Orlando, and we were at the Under Armour store, and we found um, everybody was looking at these sports masks, these Under Armour sports masks. And so um, we picked up a couple. It was actually pretty interesting. They um, they were sizing people. They had some little like measuring little like uh, flexible uh, measuring uh, you know devices that they were measuring people's faces with to um, get the exact dimensions because they do have a, if you can see there they have a number of different sizes so that they can fit you correctly so these are made for fitness right Kristen um, fitness and I thought that people would like them because they are it's hot here in Florida so it's another alternative when it's super hot and uh, they're breathable. So I saw a lot of people wanting to buy them to go to the parks. I've seen them in the parks a little bit. Open it up. So we haven't opened them yet because we wanted to be able to show you guys on camera. Wow. Uh, actually, they're not easy to open. Oh, oh here like we go. A little, there you go. Here we go. Oh, so it's receivable. Yeah, that oh, one. That's cool. So I got my, what size is mine? Mine is a... Uh, so mine is a large, large ex extra, large. extra large. And what size did you get? Here, I got a medium slash large. Oh, okay. So out of the package here, it looks like it comes with a. Oh. Look at that! It comes a nice with, little carrying case. It comes with so a little pouch. You can probably pouch. wash it and then put it in there. Yeah, so a little pouch. That's kind of cool. Um, and then the mask itself, I have to okay. say, just feeling it right now, it feels pretty hefty. Uh, it's thick. It's yeah. very thick. Well, one thing they said here, here, look, it's three layers of oh, material. Okay. So it is three layers of material. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, that it would be a little hefty, but so it's got some little ear straps there. Um, it's got a tag that looks like I'm gonna have to remove. Um, but we just, we wanted to try it just for a little bit, just for you guys, so that if perhaps some races in the future, start yeah. to require these kinds of face coverings to run them uh, mm -hmm. that uh, we'll have an idea and so will you of actually what it's like to um, to actually run in these. Yeah, this is the inside of it. Yeah. Iso chill. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing yeah. it's like trying to make keep it's the sweat off of you cool and that it keep comes you with cooling. a little pouch. That's mm -hmm. Kind of interesting. You know what I do like about this? Here, you can show this. The ear bands mm -hmm. are real thin, and it's that like Some silky little... kind of material. So soft. It's soft. It's yeah. soft. So uh, I would like this compared to some of the other masks mm -hmm. that we have. Yeah, that's cool. It comes with uh, instructions for use here. Um, we, since it's being so hot and humid out, we're not going to kill ourselves by running in these for very long. But maybe just. Um, a couple of minutes just to kind of get the idea of mm -hmm. what it's like. Yeah, I think one thing to note is that we paid $30 plus tax. They're expensive. This is not cheap. No. So we were kind of on the fence about even doing this video or buying these because I don't know that any mask is worth, I think it came to $32 with the tax. It's real expensive. And I hope these are worth it. I could see where we might want to use these for some occasions. Did you traveling. open yours up? Let's uh, let's see what sure. the size difference is, because mine so mine's a large. Yeah, here now that I found the trick to like opening this. And here. yours is a what size is yours again? A, a medium. medium. Okay, so hers is a medium. Well, mine's a little bit smaller. Oh, the size is not much here. different, but um, you can see a little bit. So they're kind of on the top here. You know what it's funny is I was I was watching um, all the employees at Under Armour were wearing these, yeah. And I noticed that like almost all of them had slipped down below their nose, yeah. And so I was looking at it, going, "Hmm, I'm kind of not liking these already, but we really wanted to try them because we hadn't they tried do. a specific sport mask yet." However, just looking at that, there is a clip uh, band here oh, that you band. can put it okay. on your nose, so that may just be their personal 
<laughs> decision, yeah. these people yeah. over there. So okay. I think there's a way to oh, nice. clip it. Oh, these look intense. They do look intense. I don't know if I'm really excited to try these. Well, let's give it a shot. Yeah. Um, so we're three miles in. We're going to go do our next three mile loop. We'll bring these with and uh, we'll see how it goes. We are outside now with our uh, what do they call them? Sport masks? Sport masks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got them. By Under Armour. And we are going to run just a short distance with them. About um, a mile. Yeah, about a mile down to the end of this road and just um, see what it's like. Um, I did put it on just briefly. Um, do you want to put yours on real quick? Yeah, sure. Let's see what your first, what's your first impression? I... They're heavy. Yeah. They're heavy. Yeah, they're heavy. Do you think it's going to stay on? So, you know, yes, it will stay on for sure. Okay. I I do like the ear loops, like I was saying. They're pretty comfortable. Mm -hmm. But uh, at running, actually, like, out of breath running might be hard in this. We'll yeah. see. Like, yeah. Because I just feel like the heat coming back on me. It's just trapped in, this in there. One, yeah. Now I did putting it on the first time. Did notice it felt like there was a little extra room in there. It didn't feel so. It wasn't tight, tight. on my face. Yeah, it didn't that feel is true. so tight on your face. Um, so it didn't feel so hard to breathe. But I wasn't running yet. So, all right. So we're gonna run about a mile with these on, mm -hmm. and then we will uh, we'll kind of debrief and uh, let you know what, you th what we think. Yeah. So we are now just about seven miles into today's training run. And uh, I'd say we lasted about a half a mile with these. Yeah. Uh, you know what, it wasn't terrible. I will say this, um, the Florida heat and sun right now is pretty bad. Um, I would say if you're running in Colorado or in Utah, somewhere where the humidity is not terrible and it's nice and cool, I think you'd be okay with this. Yeah, I also think, um, again, because we talk a lot about Disney here, if you are going to the parks and you're looking for something that's a little bit more protective. Yeah, this might be great for like the parks. Yeah. I would walk around in it. Yeah. Because it was comfortable. Uh, I'd say it's more comfortable than the masks, uh, the face coverings that Disney sells. Um, yeah. It's definitely comfortable. Um, a little bit, uh, it feels loose, but it's not just because I think it has multiple layers. Um, yeah. It's definitely for running going to take down your functional efficiency. Yeah. <laughs> you are not yes. going to be running at full efficiency and full pace uh, while wearing uh, the Under Armour sports mask. Um, it's not bad. But um, the good thing is, is from what I've seen, any of the races that are operating now, they're not requiring masks. Right, just but before and you, after but in if the you, corral. If you have to wear something before or after, this is nice. It is nice, but yeah. it, it's not going to be great to run with because it's so big. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, I would recommend something a little bit smaller if you have to wear it before or after the race. Yeah. Um, but if you're absolutely required to wear this or if you feel like you want to for safety reasons to wear the Under Armour sports mask, um, I think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I think it's doable. Yeah, I think it is doable. Yeah. More than other masks. The pure cotton masks that you can buy in the store yeah. or at Disney are too hardcore. So yeah, uh, yeah. I absolutely couldn't wear those, but this is reasonable. It's reasonable, it's washable. I think my overall review is it's kind of expensive at $30. It's nice that it's washable. Yeah. It fits a little loose. So you if know you like who I think tighter, might be okay with this? If you have high school athletes, 
and I know that around here I've heard of certain mm -hmm. uh, conditions that you have to play on certain teams. I know that around here they don't make you wear this while you're doing like basketball. Right. But if your kid is in sports and needs to wear something, I think this is a good option. Yeah. It's worth it because then you can wash it and have them wear it again and uh, it's, it's easy to wear. Definitely. All right, well, this is our review of the Under Armour uh, sports mask for Wish Upon a Run. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to us, please do. We are at Wish Upon a Run on YouTube and on Facebook. Uh, look for all our great content about generally for running uh, and safety and running at Disney and running at the amusement parks um, or just running in general. So thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed this, this, this review um, and uh, we will see you guys all next time.